Hey, I'm Tony King and welcome to Zerion's Tips. Today I'm going to talk about inventory adjustments, how you can create them, edit them, and then visualize them on a report. With inventory adjustments, there are two things I like to point out. One is the inventory adjustment entry itself, and the other is the adjustment variance report. If we go under warehouse management under our main menu, and then we go to the first option called inventory adjustment entry. You simply select the date. We can either select a new adjustment or we can select one that we've already entered. Enter in the branch that we want the adjustment to be for. And then we've got the header comments here, which we click the down arrow. We can select what type of adjustment this is going to be. Typically, we'd say this is, say, damaged or lost or stolen, something along those lines. And then in inventory adjustment entry, you take the item that you're adding into stock and then also the item that you're taking away, if that happens to be the case. So in this case, I have added one. And, the, and in the second item here, I have taken two out. You can do multiple different items or different types of items on the same adjustment. It doesn't have to be an exact wash. You could have just put one item on there is either bringing it out of stock or bringing it in. If you double click on the inventory adjustment entry widget there, that's just a menu shortcut. You'll notice that I now have two options here. I could select the adjustment that I was already in. If I have the authorization, then I can go back in and edit that at any time. I can also, just like in sales or entry, I can right click on those items and I can go into the future ledger and the history ledger. Now, for this report, the adjustment variance report, super, super helpful because it shows me variances or deltas and adjustments that have happened and it can do it for a certain day. Really helpful in the RF world. I could use it for RF counts only, but for my purposes today, I'm just gonna leave the adjustment types at all and I'm gonna click the folder icon there, which will send it to my hold file. I can either hit Shift F1 and it'll take me to my hold file, or I can go under my printing menu and look at your hold entries. Notice here I've got the adjustment, and the reason why it's on this report is because I only wanted variances. Doesn't show me anything that washes out perfectly. And I find that report very, very helpful just because it allows me to see what is actually different within adjustments and not just everything that has happened. So like a one-to-one -one relationship wouldn't show up on that report, just the variances only. Thanks for watching this tip. I hope it's been helpful for you. Remember, with inventory adjustments, you can always visualize those that have not balanced out by using the adjustment variance report. Otherwise, feel free to use inventory adjustment entry to create new adjustments or edit old ones. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. We'd be glad to help.